What's up lovelies? Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I want to share with you guys how I raised my toddler uh, since she was born without TV and without toys. Um, and before I start, I will show you guys what she does use as a form of entertainment in replacement of the toys and TV. So this is in our living room right here. This is pretty much all of her stuff here. We've got Charlie, of course, and she's over there sleeping. So what she has here pretty much is a box of art supplies. We just keep um, markers and pencils and a couple of tape and whatnot. Um, that is her learning journal right there. We basically just keep um, papers and um, emotions, solar system kind of stuff like that. It's just stuff that she learns from. She has books. And she has her stuffed animals right there. She has Elmo, a, a, a dragon, a butterfly thing, and a book bag down there. And she has one, two, three balls. And of course her yoga mat. We also have a whiteboard that she has some markers in there to use. And that is it. So as I mentioned before, since she was born, we have not used a TV or toys for her. Um, at my mom's house and at her other grandma's house, she does have um, little, um, like little doll thingies. Like I don't, one of them is a frog, another one's like a tiger. But we didn't go out of our way to buy them. These are things that we actually found just laying around the house, and she found a, a means to play with them. Um, but we have never gone out of our way to buy her toys. If we're at a store and she sees toys, we usually play with them there in the store, but she has never requested to take them home and we have never felt compelled to buy them for her. We have gotten some gifts that were toy-like, um, but a lot of them she doesn't care for, so they end up in the garage and then they end up donated. By toys, it's like, you know, all the plastic colorful little things. Um, if they are never introduced to children to begin with, they are not needed throughout their life. These things I call synthetic forms of entertainment. Um, children are naturally born with the ability to entertain themselves, so just leaving them alone and letting them do whatever they want. When they get bored, they might get a little fussy, but even you just laying on the floor or giving them random household objects like spatulas, pots, pans, plates, um, Again, anything lying around the house, they can find a way to open jars, you know, move them around, put nets inside a bowl, just very random things. One thing I like to do a lot is put her in the sink. We go outside and play with the hose. Sometimes we just go outside and there's really just no um, constructive way to do it. I don't tell her what to do, I just let her explore freely. She has found a loving for reading books, for drawing, for writing for learning. I'll give you guys a good example. This is again her learning journal and I have emotions on here, uh, food, colors, human anatomy, solar system. I drew Grover from Sesame Street here. Um, I used to watch TV as a kid so I kind of do introduce her characters like for example Elmo without the need to actually show her the TV program. Uh, Alphabet, uh, things like that. These are the songs that we sing and we just have paper and a lot of our projects in here. These are things that first thing in the morning she goes straight to her shelf and she starts to rumble through things. She starts to find out what she wants to do, what she wants to touch, what she wants to learn that day. My toddler is not two years old yet but she will be soon and she already knows about 20 words, maybe more now. She reads the titles of her book plus the authors. She knows the days of the week. She knows the months of the year. And we are learning just more things. She's even learning how to sing. So a lot of benefits come from not giving your children toys, which is one that they learn much more quicker. These toys, again, are just a synthetic mode of entertainment. So they don't need it. It's not necessary. If anything, it kind of slows down their learning process because all they're really doing is nothing. It's just a way to distract them. And I understand a lot of parents have felt like they need these kind of toys because they have things to do around the house. But as I mentioned before, I do a lot of things with her. When I clean, I give her the broom. I let her do that first. I'll clean the counters while she does that. If I wash dishes, she's sitting right there with me, playing in the sink along with me. Um, I'm very communicative with her, so she understands a lot of things like don't touch the knives or the water is hot, don't drop the glass, things like this because of how much I have talked to her. 
we wash windows together, we vacuum together, we do a lot of our household chores, she even cooks with me. So these are things you could do instead of just keeping them in the corner, playing with these toys that will do nothing for their mental growth. It's important to keep them with you and teach them about real life things like how to clean, how to be responsible, how to pick up after yourself and things like that. Now, as far as the TV goes, um, she did watch a cut, like maybe two or three episodes of Sesame Street when she was uh, like a newborn, like when she was little. Her father was not fully aware of the way I wanted to raise her. Uh, so I kind of had to explain to him, hey, look, I'm not trying to have her watch TV. It's not good for her brain and I don't want her to get used to it. I don't want her to ever tell me, I want to watch this program because she could do something way more beneficial to her. So that was only about three episodes that she watched. Um, and I remember a lot of the songs that I used to hear on TV when I was growing up and I sing them to her and I also replace certain scenes that I remember from it. But I don't allow her to watch the TV because TV can become addictive and it's just a waste of time. While you're sitting there being having your mind stimulated, you can out be out doing exercise or out learning things. I'm not gonna lie, there are some days, especially when I'm maybe feeling just a little down, I didn't get enough sleep the day before, or I'm just not in the best mood, where I wish I could turn on the TV and just let her watch it and let myself relax and be alone. But what I have learned to do is to communicate with her, as I've mentioned before, to let her know how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling that way, and that I'm just gonna take it easy today. I also meditate in front of her and I do a lot of breathing exercise in front of her. I write on my journal and I always, I'm always talking to her. I'm always letting her know why things are the way they are. One of the benefits, once again, from no TV is that they are just smarter and they understand more. They are, more communi com they're, they are communicating with you more. I am so happy that I've raised her the way I have because um, unapologetically, when I see kids her age, there's just no comparing. I know when they have been toyed down and TV'd down because it's just a different mentality. They are less aware. They, to me, I feel like they're a little bit more dutsy. They don't really talk too much and they're very, they have so much energy because of they've been sitting down watching TV or sitting down and playing with the toy that they have not gone out and exercised for the day. So they are so hyperactive. My little one is very calm very relaxed, very composed. She does have her moments, especially when we're at the park where she's very energetic and she's ready to play. Or if it's a day where it's been raining and she hasn't been outside all day, she's a little bit more hyperactive than usual. But besides that, she is incredible, very, very smart, and a very relaxed and composed little being. Which is why, again, I felt compelled to share this with you guys. If you guys are maybe expecting a baby or growing one up and you want to know a better way to help improve their mental well-being and also just their physical well-being, one of the things I recommend is do not buy them toys, do not put them in front of a TV or a tablet, let them be, let them just express themselves naturally and let them find a way to entertain themselves. This is how creativity and, and imagination is born and um, this will also teach you a little bit more patience and more about your little one and it'll give you guys more time to be together. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope this was helpful. If you guys want any more videos like this, I'll be posting a lot more. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.